all this me linda and your treasure coming to today on this friday february 1st 2013 y'all i'm happy it's friday because i'm gonna tell you this has been an extremely crazy busy week with lots to do and lots of people to see and meet and yeah don't you just hate some timey people I mean, well, I shouldn't say that because I guess I'm some Tommy too. I guess we all are, but it kind of bothers me when you seem to have a good rapport with someone, you know, you speak to them and they speak to you and when you do see them because you don't see them all the time and then when you see them, sometimes they, I don't know, but folks are busy and folks, I don't know, life is like that, so... So yeah, I know y'all like, ooh, what she do to her her? Ooh, what she do to her her? <laughs> you all, you all know me. This year is gonna be the year of the hair for Lynn Danielle Treasure Diva. You all, please, I may be blonde on one of these videos. I have never, well, I can't say never. I was blonde when I was 12 years old. Well, partly blonde. Because, see, back in the day when the afro was popular, um, you would the patch of red or blonde in the hair was the style back from where, you know, when I was 12 back in that neighborhood. I was 11, I think I was. And um, this is my green smoothie, two bananas, spirulina, um, pea. Um, protein powder, amazing grass protein powder, ice, and some miracle rich and uh, some water. So, yeah, that's what I'm drinking. No alcohol. I probably should, but it made me vomit. But anyway, back to the story. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, it was popular to wear your hair with the patch in your fro and the bigger the fro back in the day the better right so I had like a mid-sized fro it was nice you know it wasn't Angela Davis her size was like the adored admired coveted size afro out to your shoulders but mine's was like mid length I mean it was nice so I was going through this rebellious stage. I was probably 11 going on 12 and hormones were kicking in, I think. And, you know, so I said, I'm going to dye my hair because I think my aunt had dyed her hair and my sister either had dyed hers or was going to dye her hair. I said, I'm going to dye my hair. I went and bought the stuff, you know, and patched, did half of my head and it, it was supposed to have been red. But it came out blonde. It was didn't look too bad. And my mother was having a fit. And my dad, they didn't know what to do with me. I thought I was going to get a beating. But I didn't. They just had their little meeting. And I guess they just decided. My dad said something like, we're going to make you dye it back. But they didn't. So they let me slide on that. So, yes, I've been blind once in my life, and I may just be blind again on these videos. So, what my my hair, um, isn't this gorgeous? This is a Futura um, lace front that I just picked up this evening after work from the local beauty supply store because... Um, <laughs> I like the big hair, but I, I just I just can't do big hair like that every day. No. I mean it's pretty, it's expressive, it's I love the curls, but it's so big and it's so yeah, but this is absolutely me. I mean this is me. This is this is what I aspire for my own hair. I aspire for my hair to be this thick and coarse but of course it's not going to happen because you cannot change unless through some kind of miracle diet or something I, you can't change like the coarseness of your hair if you can let me know because I would be the one on that diet but 
um, my daughter's hair, my youngest daughter has, my, my uh, late husband's hair was gorgeous. I mean, just, it was thick and all his hair was gorgeous. So my youngest daughter has his hair. And her hair is gorgeous, and she keeps it cut very short because where she lives, it's very hot. And so, yeah. And my youngest, my oldest daughter has hair like mine. But this is what my youngest daughter's hair would look like. I really believe if she let it grow all the way out, because when she was a girl, it was big old. She had those big old fat Afro puff balls. The ends would be like, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, y'all, I know I'm being silly, but I'm just happy it's Friday. It's been a very busy week, and I get to play with hair all weekend. I get to play and makeup. Let me show you all what I picked up at the beauty supply store. So I am loving this Blue Magic Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner. I, I cannot remember who introduced this to me. It was... a beauty vlogger these vloggers are i'm gonna tell you if you are not into beauty vloggers here on youtube and if you aspire to have healthier hair healthier just a healthier lifestyle if you have the time you just type in what it is you want like healthier hair or healthier skin on youtube Man, these sisters, these young ladies are, some of them are way up there. Like Dr. Nina, Dr. Nina, beautiful brown baby doll, and um, Kimmy Tube. Those women look at, Kimmy Tube looks at the chemistry and the science of hair. So she gives you a lot of scientific background about how to get your hair healthy and keep it healthy and how to prevent breakage and stuff like that, retain moisture and have just a better quality hair. Healthier is what I mean by better. Um, Dr. Nina is really good at informing you about hair forums, styles, uh, protective styles, healthy lifestyle. She lost over 100 pounds has maintained that weight loss for over six or seven years or so. She's a young lady. I don't I don't even think she's in her 30s and she's already PhD. So the girl is the bomb. And then there are many, many other young ladies. Atia, who um is just very good with she has tamed her hair. I that's one thing that when I first watched her videos, I said this lady has tamed her hair she wraps her hair and when she takes it down it just bounces like boom 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 so these young ladies here on youtube if you really want if you aspire to have healthier hair and plus have all that delicious hair that i like with the wigs and stuff you know if you have the time check them out before you know it you'll be You'll find yourself doing all sorts of research on YouTube. So this is my dinner. Along with my trail mix. It's in there. My almonds. And okay, I confess. Scouse honor. I got chocolate again. I read the labels. And well, I went to Walmart. I probably should have went to like Trader Joe's or somewhere like that. But there is no Trader Joe's in my area. No Whole Foods that I know of. So anyway, I just went ahead and I got um, bittersweet chocolate this time. I know. I'm not perfect with this raw or healthy lifestyle yet. I'm getting there. I said I'm 90% raw 90% of the time. And I, I really believe... I am at the percentage. I really believe that it is that high because I am just very determined to be 100% raw 100% of the time, but I ain't perfect. So I got chocolate and one of the ingredients is um, milk, 2% milk, I think, which is cow snot or snot, whatever they call it. Because it, it, it produces mucus in the body. So it has a nickname like cow snot. 
And um, all milk products do. Cow snot. Ugh. My daughter had mentioned back in like 2008, maybe 2007. My oldest daughter has, she's ahead of the game as far as I'm concerned. She was telling me, informing me about pus in milk and and all of these things. And I'm like, are you serious? And she's like, yes, mom, don't drink milk. It, plus, children shouldn't drink milk, cow's milk anyway and blah, blah, blah. And I listened to her. I, I found it odd and I was like, I don't know. I said, that sounds a little incredulous, but okay, I'll, I'll listen to what she's saying. I didn't follow up and research, but here it is, 2013, and I am getting a wealth of information that says there is blood and pus in milk. And other stuff, like table salt, is not really what we think it is. The food, y'all, the food. I just feel like crying sometimes when I think about the food we eat is contaminated. It really is. So, y'all, I'm all over the place because I'm happy it's Friday after putting in a hard week of work. I get to play. So I showed you the, I bought two of these. These were $3 each, $2.99. So I got two, that's six bucks. The wig was $49.99, but he gave me a $10 discount. Yay! And then um, I said I was going back to this to keep my hair moist. You know. And this was 9 bucks. And this should last me, I would say, to the end of the year, I guess. Yeah, because I am using the um, Motions Marula Natural Therapy Hair and Scalp Oil that my, my um, oldest sister gave me hers because she said it made her hair knot up and break out, break off. And her hair, oh my goodness, you're talking about some gorgeous hair. She has, well, she says it's not anymore, but she had the most gorgeous hair and my niece's hair oh m goodness beautiful my niece's hair is like this mm -hmm. it's got little waves in it and and she is the uh one who twisted put the uh two strands twists in my hair my niece did so she knows how to care for hair so um Hair is your crown and glory, ladies. It may not be you. You may not be your hair. But hair is your crown and glory. I mean, men like beautiful hair. I don't know a man who doesn't like beautiful hair. And I, it, that may be a political statement. It may offend some people. But my husband loved my hair. I mean, even when I just wore it back, he used to say to me all the time, wear your hair down. And I whined and said, it's so limp. It won't hold a curl. But I didn't say it sweet like that when I should have. But hair is a woman's crown and glory. So underneath this hair that is not mine, but that is mine while it's on my head. I am nurturing my born with hair, pampering it like it is a newborn baby. This year, I just will, that's my goal, to pamper it like it's a newborn baby. And these are the products that I am going to use. Um, my hair is braided right now. I shampooed my hair last night, was it? Or night before last? One of them. I usually shampoo my hair twice a week. Um, I'm going to try. I don't know if I'm going to change that. And the reason I have personal reasons for doing for shampooing my hair twice a week. Yeah, you have to do what you know to do. I think we are equipped with instincts that tell us what to do. We just have to, I don't know, tune in, tune in, tune in. 
So you all, that's my check-in for today. Um, it's kind of all over the place. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. New hair, maybe? I don't know. But... Okay, so enjoy your weekend. I have to finish my paper. I have seven pages of the ten pages. Um, I have to, I'm, I'm thinking for the last three pages, I need to begin summarizing and concluding. Of course I do, because that's the, near the end. Um, I probably need to go back through and define some terms and touch up some other things and look at APA format. But that's my weekend. Because I graded papers before I left school today, so I wouldn't have to bring that stuff home. All right, you all, be blessed. And I'm going to see Hansel and Gretel. And then I'm going to see beautiful creatures when it comes out on Valentine's Day. All right, be blessed. I love you. Bye. I am all over the place.